Welcome to the Classical Music Guide. My name is Werner Elmker and today we are going to focus on the French composer Claude Debussy and his piano music. And without further explanation, I just wanted to play the first piece by Debussy and then we can talk about how that sounds. The first piece is called Reverie. Thank you. 
That was a piano piece by Claude Debussy called Reverie. And this is a typical piece of one style of Debussy's, which nowadays we call impressionistic music. Debussy himself did not like the term impressionistic in terms of music, even though he had several friends from the painters at that time who used the term impressionistic. But nowadays we oftentimes call this music impressionistic because the music sounds almost exactly the way a painting by Monet looks. If we have seen a painting by Monet with light reflected from water, for example, we get this same shimmering, luminous, hazy quality that we just heard in the music by DBC. And here's another piece called Arabesque.
That was a piece by Claude Debussy called Arabesque. And the next piece we're going to play is the famous Claire de Lune. Claire de Lune means moonlight. And it very beautifully describes in tones the softness and the coolness and the mystical qualities of moonlight. And in this piece, we get the full genius of Debussy's ability to evoke sounds from the piano that had never been heard before. And in that sense, he reminds us of another famous composer for the piano, Frédéric Chopin. Both of these composers took the piano sound to a completely new and much higher level of refinement and beauty. DBC would spend long hours at the piano experimenting with different chords and sounds until he found just the perfect new sound that has never been heard before. And he would go in great detail finding the correct voicing of the harmonies and getting the texture all evened out and completely coherent. And so let us now enjoy this famous piece by DBC Claire de Lune.
That was DBC's Clair de Lune. The next piece by DBC is his Cathedral Anglouti, which means the sunk cathedral. This is one of his most mystical pieces. It is based on a Celtic legend from Brittany, which describes the ancient Cathedral of Ys, that is spelled I-S, which was engulfed by the ocean because of the impiety of the inhabitants. But the cathedral was allowed to rise, to be seen at sunrise, as an example to others. In this piece of music, we again hear the genius of DBC in describing very subtle mystical qualities. It's as if we hear distant bells from the cathedral calling people to worship. At some point we seem to be hearing distant sounds as if the monks are still singing Gregorian chant under the water. And the entire structure of this music reminds us of the arches of a cathedral. So let's now enjoy Debussy's Cathedral Anglouti.
That was the Cathedral Anglouti by DBC. The next piece we're going to hear by DBC is called Wal, and that word has been given two interpretations by DBC himself, either sailing boats or mysterious veils. In this piece, we're going to hear his use of the whole tone scale, a particular scale in music that is often associated with impressionistic music. Compared to the usual diatonic scale, either major or minor, which has a strong gravity and direction towards the tonic, the first note of the scale, the whole tone scale does not have any particular preference with respect to which note is more important than the other notes. There are only six notes in the scale compared to the usual seven. And none of these notes have any particular gravity or more importance than the others. And it leaves the listener with a feeling of spaciness, no gravity, and also a feeling of undirectedness, which of course is ideal for impressionistic music. So let's hear now this piece based on the whole tone scale.
That was a piece by Claude Debussy called Wal. The next piece is La Puerto del Vino. And it's one of many piano pieces Debussy wrote inspired by Spanish music and the Spanish culture. He wrote it after having received a postcard from El Puerta del Vino, which is a gateway in the Alhambra Palace in Granada. The piece shows us the turbulent life of the piazza in front of the palace, where there were celebrations every day of wine and song, flamenco dance and guitar playing, and the habanera rhythm. Here comes La Puerto del Vino.
That was La Puerto del Vino, a piano piece by Claude Debussy. And this is the Classical Music Guide, and I'm Werner Elmkro. We are talking today about the piano music of Debussy. To introduce the next piece, I'd like to read a quote from Debussy, who did never like the classical way of repeating certain themes and developing them systematically. He said, quote, I should like to see the creation, and I myself shall achieve it, of a kind of music free from themes and motives, or formed on a single continuous theme, which nothing interrupts and which never returns upon itself. There will not be between two restatements of the same theme a hasty and superfluous filling in. The development will no longer be that of amplification of material, but it will be given a more universal conception." End of quote. And the piece we're going to hear is called De Pas sur la Neige, translated as Footprints in the Snow. Debussy said it should have the basic rhythm of a snowbound, melancholic landscape with faltering steps as in snow.
This was DBC's Depart sur la Neige, Footprints in the Snow. The next piece is a very famous melody by DBC called La Fille au Chauffeur de Lain, The Girl with Flaxen Hair. This piece was inspired by a poem by the same name by the poet Le Comte de Lille. That was The Girl with Flax and Hair, the piano piece by DBC. And the last piece we're going to hear by DBC today is The Little Shepherd.
That was The Little Shepherd by Debussy, and this was the last piece in this program dedicated to the piano music by Claude Debussy. This is the Classical Music Guide, and I'm Werner Elmker. If you have any comments or suggestions, you can find our email and phone numbers on the website at www.fluidmusic.com. And as usually, we're going to end with the theme music for this program, which is a short piece by Edward Grieg called Arietta. <laughs>